Hello everyone, today we're going to cover scheduling posts to be published. This is technically a continuation of the Sidekick tutorial. So with Sidekick, we could run background jobs. Maybe you had a heavy API request that would take 10 seconds and you didn't want your user to wait. You would then de delegate that to a background Sidekick job. Now Sidekick also has a scheduler. This allows you to create custom classes that will run logic on a fixed schedule. Maybe at 12 every night, you want it to log out a report. Maybe you have the ability to publish in Premiere videos on your YouTube clone, or in our case, we have the ability to publish and uh, Premiere posts. And we want these posts to only be on the published page after the uh, time has occurred where they should be published if we have them set to be scheduled. If we don't have them set to be scheduled uh, and they are set to published, then they should appear right away. Uh, and if they're uh, just never set to be published, then you'll never see them, I guess. So that's what we're implementing. We'll be using Sidekick and the Sidekick uh, scheduler for this. We're going to do this with a Rails new command, call it video, give it a dash J of ES build and a dash C of, actually, we don't need bootstrap for this. I'm going to go ahead and run this. So what's the plan here? Basically, we will set up a post model with titles and bodies. We'll give it a published at a schedule and a uh, time to be posted. We'll then add in Sidekick and the Sidekick scheduler. We'll configure those and then we'll add in the cool little uh, background dashboard thing you can go to with slash Sidekick so you can see all of your scheduled jobs happening. So let's go ahead and CD into video and in here we will get started. We'll do a bundle add for Sidekick and Sidekick dash scheduler that will add those. There's really no setup required aside from that. Now what we can do is do a Rails G scaffold post with a title and a body of type text and I have to reference my notes otherwise I'll get all of this wrong. We then have a published set to a boolean, a schedule set to false, and a, uh, a publish underscore, oops, publish underscore at set to a date time. That will allow us to do all of this. We don't have this false here. This needs to be a Boolean. Completely butchering this. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so now we have that generated. The next step would be for us to uh, set up our bin slash dev. So let's go ahead and let's run a code. Hey, let me full screen this again. Code dot. I don't know why this terminal is so weird. Hopefully Microsoft eventually gives us an update for it. Okay, so let's come over here. And what we want to do is inside of our proc file, the first thing we want to do is tell it that it should run our sidekick. Now we did this last time, but we have sidekick. We call bundle exec sidekick, pass in a config file. Now we are actually going to play with the config file this time. If you missed the sidekick video, I have a link to it in the video description. That way you can get caught up. Although it's pretty much not that important for this. Uh, we'll right click on here and say this is the sidekick.yaml file. Now inside of the sidekick config file, we need to tell it what the schedule is going to be. We do this with a weird syntax where it starts with a colon, has the word schedule and ends with a colon. Then we need to uh, call like a class that we're going to make. In this case, we're going to call it post publish. Now let's figure out where we're going to put this uh, before we do anything else. Inside of our app, right click new file or new folders. We'll call this the workers directory. Inside of workers, what we want to do is have a post underscore publish underscore skip. Let me make sure I spell this right. Uh, scheduler.rb. And inside of this post scheduler, let's just go ahead and flush this out real quick. We'll have a require sidekick scheduler. We'll have a class for the post publish scheduler. This will be the logic we want to do. Uh, we want to check the publish at column of the post table. If the time is less than the current time, then publish the post by calling the publish method. That's pretty simple. We do need to include the sidekick worker because this is going to be a sidekick worker. We can then do a def perform. Inside of this def perform goes the logic for this action. In this case, it'll be uh, cr grabbing all of the posts where the publish at is less than the time dot. Now there is an underscore here, but our uh, RuboCop feels like it needs to inject its opinion. Let's go ahead and let's uh, do this. Hit tab over. 
we want to grab where the published is false. And then after we grab where the published is false, we also want to grab where the schedule is true. Because if published is false, we, we don't want to assume it needs to be scheduled. Uh, if I have scheduled set to true and published set to true, it could just be a draft, in which case you shouldn't be publishing it. Even if I have like a publish at time set, I haven't decided it should be scheduled yet. The final thing we want to do then is loop through all of these posts that we've just gathered and we want to call post.publish on them. For post.publish, I know we're getting sidetracked from the sidekick.yaml file, but just bear with me. Uh, this part is necessary evil. Uh, for the post publish method, we'll create a method called publish. We'll call update on it. So this will update the post itself and we'll just set the published to be true and the schedule to be true. We can go ahead and save that. We're now done inside of the post.rb. We are done inside of the post scheduler. For the actual uh, YAML file though, we, we need to tell it which class it needs to use for this. So for that, we can pass in a class just like this. We'll say class is the post publish scheduler, which is exactly what we just called it. We then want to tell it maybe how it should queue. And the most important piece of information is going to be a piece of cron that tells us when this should run. Now, GitHub Copilot thinks this should run in this format, which doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I would have actually screamed at my last job if they had come with me with uh, time zones embedded in the cron syntax. The cron syntax itself was already bad enough. But there's plenty of websites online where you can put in a cron syntax and play around with it until you get what you need. So in this case, it's giving us zero and zero, which is at 12 a.m. every day. That's not going to work for us. Now, an asterisk means at every time. So this is the minute. This is the hour. This is, I don't know, the day, I think. Uh, let me check. Yeah, day one of every month. Uh, so what we want to do is get all of these down as low as possible. And by having five asterisks, this goes down to every minute. And then we just paste this in here. So this will run every minute, which is good enough for publishing stuff, right? Like once a minute's granular enough for our case. So now we have this scheduled. How does it know where this file is? Well, for that in our proc file, when we call this sidekick, it will grab all of these sidekick workers that we are including. So that's automatically going to be handled by Sidekick itself. We don't have to specify that file. As long as we tell it in the schedule, oops, inside of the uh, schedule config that this is the class it needs to use with the schedule, then it'll run this post publish just fine. Okay, so now let's come over to our routes. Let's create a published route. We'll say get published and we'll put this to the post published path. Let's come into the, let me save this, come into the post controller. Inside of the post controller, let's do a def for published. And, and then in here, we'll set at post to be uh, post dot where the published is true. And then we'll render the index. So this will be just like the index page, except it'll only show the published posts. Okay, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, what else do we have to do? Well, we do want to come into the post form. So let's say post form and we are almost done. I promise in here. What I want to do uh, is make sure we have all of our stuff in the right order, our published, our schedule and our published at looks good. Then let's come into our underscore post.html.erb. In here, I want to paste in some stuff. This will just tell you the time is this time right now. And is it time to be published will be uh, the time dot now is greater than post dot publish at. So if post dot publish at is at 6.45 a.m. and it is currently 6.46 a.m., then this will be true. It's telling you it's time to publish the post. Makes sense. If that's true, in theory, our uh, sidekick scheduler should go off as well. So that's something to keep an eye on. Now then, we have all of that. Uh, the only other thing we need to deal with is the time zones. Because we're gonna be dealing with all of these time zones, things are gonna be a little bit out of sync. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna run a bin slash dev. It's probably gonna blow up and yell at us for some reason. Uh, it does look like it is upset about something and it's probably gonna be that there's already a address in use. There is, okay, so if that happens, run a ps aux, type in a grep to puma and then grab this ID or whatever ID you have and run a kill dash nine on it. It'll stop it. We can then do a bin slash dev to start the server again. And it shouldn't yell at us for that. It'll now start the scheduler. We do need to run our pending migrations. That looks good. 
and now we're good here let's refresh hit new post we'll call this test with a case it will not be published and we'll set it to be scheduled and we'll set this to be scheduled for 1221 which is today and we'll schedule it for 708 a.m let's create this post it is not published yet it is set to be scheduled if we come over to the published path nothing is here if we come over to the uh, slash posts you'll see that this is here but it is not scheduled yet so we see it on post but we don't see it on published the other thing to note is it currently says it is 706 down here it says it is 708 and it tells you it's time to be published which doesn't make sense because this time is greater there is less than this time why is that well it's because of these darn time zones to fix this let's come over to our config and this is one of the last steps inside of our application.rb we need to paste in these two lines config.timezone equals and then whatever your time zone is as, a, as an ugly magic string and then config.activerecord.defaulttimezone is equal to local after you do that and if you don't know what your time zones are i think there's like a rails time colon zones command or something that you can run yeah just like that i think this gives you roughly what time zones you need i'm not entirely sure though uh, but these should hopefully work for you. Let me see. There's Eastern. Yeah, so these are all the time zones. So you just copy the one that vaguely applies to your case and set that as your default or as your time zone. And then your active record, make sure your created app matches that time zone. Okay, if we now run bin slash dev and come over here and refresh the page, you can see uh, hopefully it's time to publish. It is 707. It shouldn't be time to publish, but this page didn't actually save. Let me mash control s a couple times because that'll solve all my problems now if i come over here and refresh time to publish is set to false it is 707.55 it is now 708 it just ticked over so if we refresh you can see this has been published it's been updated magically it didn't have to do really anything the final thing is if you do want that cool little dashboard that i showed you off earlier with the slash sidekick this is a two-liner inside of our routes uh, what we have to do is come into our routes.rb and inside of our routes.rb the first thing we have to do is require the sidekick slash web and then we just want to call mount for the sidekick slash web we can save that we can come over here and refresh this page and it instantly works and now as these jobs run off you can see how many have failed how many have been processed etc it is running some of this information from my previous session i believe but hopefully you'll believe me when I say that these things are working as expected and that one was started 56 seconds ago. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. It is just a good way for you to get a bit of an introduction to how Sidekick can be used along with some of its plugins and sort of what the Sidekick scheduler does and how to schedule stuff like publishing your posts. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it was interesting and hopefully I will see you in the next video.